Today I'm going to show you how to use the Bialate Brica Espresso Maker. Now this is a standard mocha pot. Uh, do not get confused. This is not what we sell. A mocha pot is simply just a percolator uh, where pressure makes the espresso rise through. This is the new Brica from Bialate. Uh, it has this pressure valve inside the stem which makes a crema and foam on the top of the espresso, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. The new Brica comes with a water measuring cup, uh, and I have it filled to 180 milliliters of water. You're just going to pour the water into your base, and then put in the filter system. Once the basket is in the base of the Brica, you're just going to take your espresso. I like the Bialette Perfetto Mocha for beginners as some coffees are easy to make crema with than others. And this is a great one if you're just getting started. You're just going to fill the basket up with your espresso to roughly the top of the basket. You do not need to tamp it or mash it down. Just nice and smooth there at the top. And you can see this is what it'll look like once you're ready to get started. From there, you're just going to screw on the lid of the Brica to the base and just a little bit tight. At this point, you're gonna turn on your flame. An electric stove works too, gas is preferred. And you just wanna set the flame so that it does not come outside the base of the pot. So you can see I have the flame on medium low and the flame is just inside the bit, the base of the pot. If the, if the flame is too high, the coffee will cook too quickly um, and it will cause problems and it also won't foam quite as well. So now we're just going to let this go about three or four minutes and then I'll show you what the crema looks like. Okay, it's been a few minutes and we're now sitting, starting to get just a little bit action on the Brica. You can see it's starting to percolate and now as the pressure increases, it's going to begin to come out of the stem quicker and thus cause the foam. You can hear the air pockets as it starts to come through and hit the valve. And as it starts to come up quicker here, it'll start to make a big air sound. It's still rising, and here comes the real foam. When it starts to make that sound there, you want to go ahead and kill your heat and lift it up. You do not want to overcook it. You're just going to pour into your glasses. If doing two, pour some, and then the other, as the foam will be the last thing to come out. And there you have it. Beautiful, creamy espresso. Buongiorno.